done okay sir let's start today's class we'll start so last class we have solved lot of problems of proof techniques we try to prove lot of theorems using different proof techniques today we'll start with finite automata so let's start sir from the proof techniques okay sir ekta chilo je proof by contradiction yes sir ekta ya as a jodi even hoy a square even hobe a contra positive theke sir amra direct eshe porechi ekhane ki sir amader between the lines dekhte hobe contra positive part ta naki amra jump korte parbo sir which one কি স্টেপস গুলো কি লিখতে হবে স্যার নাকি আমরা লিখব এই ধরনের প্রুফ আসার এই ধরনের প্রুফ যে ইন দা एग्जाम দিস কাইন্ড অফ প্রুফ উইল কাম উই টোল্ড ইউ নো আই এম জাস্ট সেইং স্যার डिफरेंट টাইপ অফ প্রবলেম মাইট কাম মাইট হ্যাভ শর্ট কোশ্চেন মাইট কাম ইউ নো দ্যাট নো রাইট ওকে স্যার হোয়াই ইউ ক্যান ইউ জাম্প স্যার ক্যান ইউ জাম্প লজিক্যালি ইউ ক্যান নট জাম্প লজিক্যালি ইউ ক্যান নট জাম্প এক্স স্কয়ার ইফ এক্স স্কয়ার ইজ ইভেন দেন এক্স ইজ ইভেন হাউ ডু ইউ নো ইট ইজ ইভেন If I ask so you this question, yes. If this this question would come, definitely you need to show that whenever x squared is even, also x is even, and that right. things needs to needs that things needs needs to be proved by ultra positive. Am I right? Yes, sir. So that is the answer of you. Okay. Sir. Is it clear to you? Clear. Okay. Now let's start with different concept of finite atom. The first thing is called symbol. So what is symbol? What is symbol? What is symbol? Zero is a symbol. One is a symbol. P joy. This is a symbol. Then, then what? A, B, C. These these are symbol. then this figure might be a symbol so figure this set is finite or infinite this set is finite or infinite all these are symbol infinite this set is infinite so symbol might be infinite now our second concept is called alphabet do you know what is alphabet can you give me an example of alphabet ফর এক্সাম্পল ইন ইংলিশ ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ হোয়াট ইস দা আলফাবেট ইন ইংলিশ হোয়াট ইস দা আলফাবেট a b c d a to z okay can we have any other symbols than a to z in english alphabet sir uh, b joy is a symbol or alphabet b joy is a symbol you know what is the meaning of alphabet do you know what is sir. alphabet sir uh, a lot of symbol together set of set of letters set of symbol set of symbols or set of letters is called alphabet english alphabet is a to z am i right yes sir yes sir then bengali alphabet is shorya to chandrabindu arabic alphabet is alif to ya so all the possible letters in a language is called as a collectively known as alphabet is it clear to you yes sir so what is the relation between symbol and alphabet a finite set of symbols 
finer subset, the finer subset of symbols. Am I right? Because symbol contains everything. Everything. It is a very hypothetical concept, but it contains all the symbols possible. All the symbols possible that contains in this set. Am I right? It is hypothetical. Out of all the symbols, we take few symbols and made our alphabet. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Then zero comma one can be also considered an alphabet. Am I right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now let's come to string. What is string? Uh, finite sequence of symbol. Finite like... sequence. Not necessarily finite. This must not be finite. Sequence of symbol. Sequence of symbol, and these symbols come from where? This so symbol comes from alphabet. where? From, from alphabet. Alphabet. Fantastic. alphabet. Yes. Fantastic. So, alphabet is what? Alphabet is like which set? Universal set. Alphabet is our universal set. Okay. And if you create any sequence of symbols from alphabet, that is a string. Okay. So if my alphabet is 0, 1, can you give me an example of string? Uh, 0, 1, 1, 0, like that. 0, 1, 1, 0, then? 0, 1, 1, 0. Oh, sorry, 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, 1. And is it finite or infinite? The set of all string? Infinite. It's not infinite? It is infinite. Set of? Finite, sir. That the all strings are finite. How come uh, that is finite? Infinite, sir. Abar bali infinite. Abar bali finite. Abar bali infinite. Set of all strings Fi are infinite, right? Yes, sir. All right. Set of all strings are infinite. So symbol is all the possible symbol possible. All the possible symbol in the world is called set of symbols. Now, out of all the symbols, we take some subset. We create alphabet. And we made string out of that alphabet. Is it clear to you guys? Done? Now, what yes. is language? Then? What is language? A set of string. Collection of a string. Collection of string, right? Collection of the string, fine. So. A subset of all the possible string. Am I right? So do you, do you understand actually how I constructed this thing? Did you understand? Yes, Can sir. You tell me the workflow. Before that, give me an example of language. A subset of all possible strings. It's called language. Can you give me an example? <coughs> Sir, word to word. What happened? Sir, word key subset of a language at a specific by the word. word. We don't call it word, we call it string. In finite automata, it is called string. We don't call it word. But word and string are more or less same thing, but there is a difference. I'm going to show you. Don't worry. It's a good question. Because there is a difference between human language and computer language. We are going to discuss that one later. Don't worry. What is language? A subset of all possible strings. Can you give me an example of language? Uh, zero, one. Set of? Zero, one. Uh, one, zero. One, zero. One, one, one. One one one. Zero one one. Zero one one, and then let's stop here. Okay. So, what is the workflow? <coughs> workflow is. Before that, let's define this symbolically. We represent alphabet by sigma, Greek letter sigma. We define string by. Small omega or W. 
and we replace the language by L. So what is the first thing I have to define? Alphabet. So let's assume my alphabet is 0, 1. <coughs> okay. Now, what is the set of W? 0. At first, there is epsilon. What is epsilon? What blank. Is epsilon? Blank. blank. Nothing there. So epsilon should be in the W. Then 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So on. Then I can define a language like this. Epsilon is a must. Yes, epsilon is a must. Epsilon is in any language. Sorry, any set of words, set of strings. Epsilon is a string, empty string. And it is very important. Is it clear to you guys? Sir, language ki finite chunk of the word. No, not necessary. Not necessary. Language can be infinite. Language can be infinite. Sir, not the... Not the... No, that's what I'm talking about. That's why she asked ask you why you are calling this string. Why not, why not it is la why not it is what? Whenever we are talking about human language, let's assume. Then, what would be W? What would be W? Epsilon A, B up to Z. Then, A, 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 B, so on. Okay, am I right? Yes, in sir. In English language, in English language, We take some subset of W which are meaningful to us. Am I right? Right? Am I right or not? Yes, sir. So, English language, we take subset of W, which is meaningful to us. Okay? So like your name. Not my name. My name is proper name. That my is name. different. Let's say it's bar. This is okay. meaningful to us. But B, 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 B. This one belongs to this set. Am I right or not? Yes. But in English language, we do not consider this kind of things. But our language definition says, Set of all strings is W, capital W, and a subset of all possible strings is language. So we can construct a language like this also. A, 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 B, 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 C, 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 C. It can be our language. By definition, it can be our language. Am I right or not? It might not be English language, but it might be our language. So there is no problem. Am I right or not? Yes, sir. Time on a sir, language to sir, meaningful hot of air component. Air component weapon. It is all about string. That's why we do not use the we do not use word. We say string. That's why language is a subset of string. Yes, that's why there's a difference between human language and the machine language. Okay, guys. You can take any subset from all the possible strings, then it would be a language. All right, guys. Is it clear to you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So do you have any query? No, sir. All right. So let's go to the next topic.
Okay. So let's assume my alphabet is 0, 1. Then sigma to the power 1 is set of set of all strings of length 1. So what would be my set? So zero, 0 and 1. 0 and 1. Zero and one. What is the cardinality of this? So two. So two. Yes. Sigma to the power two is set of all strings of length two. So what would be my what would be zero. my set? Zero zero zero, zero, zero one, one one zero. Zero 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 one. One zero one one. one. So, what is the cardinality of sigma two? Four. 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 Sigma three is set of <clears throat> all strings of length three. So, what would be my set? Zero 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 one one. Yes. So what would be my cardinality of sigma three? Eight. 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 This way, if we continue, what would be the cardinality? What would be sigma to the, sigma n set of? All strings of length n. What would be the cardinality of this? N. Sorry. Oh, yes. Yeah. Two to the power n. Two to the power n. Two to the power n. How can you prove this one? What would be the length of each member of this set? Seven. So that should be n characters, right? Length is n. So how many blank space I require? One, two, three, up to n. One, two, three, up to it. How many ways I can fill plus block? Why you people are getting always confused with this kind of topics? How many ways I can fill the first block? Huh? So so two? two way, zero two or one. Ways. Two way. How many ways I can fill the second block? Right, I didn't get the question. Okay. Four. I'm trying to prove the cardinality of sigma n is really 2 to the power n. How can I prove that one? What is sigma n? Sigma n, n is set of all strings of length n. So each string has a length of n. So let's consider this is the this is a generic template of the string. So how many fill up? How many blanks I need to fill up? N number of Blanks, am I right? For example, 0, 0, dot, 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 1, 1, 0, dot, 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 1. So how many, how many uh, uh, symbols would be there? How many symbols would be there? How many symbols would be there? So n. N, right. So we can consider, so we want to generate all possible, all possible strings. So you can consider it is nothing but a blank space of n. Am I right? Yes, sir. So yes. how many way I can fill up the first blank? I have only two choices, zero or one. Two, so two. Second blank is also zero or one. So two. This way, n number also zero and one. So two. So what would be the total number of strings inside this set? Two start, two start. 
two. So what is this? How many twos are there? Two to the power n. Am I right or not? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that's how we have proved this. Okay. Is there any question you can ask? Sir, we are talking about the uh, one member of the set, right? If we're yes, about but that is a general member. member. That's not a specific member. That is a general member. How can we construct any member? We are talking about that thing. So if we can find out how can we generate any member, then counting all the members using the generic structure, we can find the total cardinal. Is there any question about that? That is all about discrete matrix, nothing else. Pretty simple. Am I right or not? Let's assume this way. I think you people should know this thing. Hapa yes, to Kumilla. You can go three ways. And Kumilla to Chicago. You can go four ways. So how many ways you can go from Dhaka to Chittagong via Kumilla? So it is a big task. It is a big task. It is divided into two tasks. From Dhaka to Kumilla and Kumilla to Chittagong. Dhaka to Kumilla three ways. And Kumilla to Chittagong four ways. So how many ways you can go from Dhaka to Chittagong via Kumilla? So 12. Well, for this one, for this one, only using this part, I have four ways. Again, for using this one, I have another four ways. Using this one, I have another four ways. So it is nothing but three star four. Am I right or not? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The same thing is same thing is also here. I am trying to generate a string of length n, any, any, not to have specific any string. So. I can consider this whole problem as blank of n. Am I right? So each blank can be filled up two ways. So as there are n number of blanks, how many ways I can fill up the n blanks? So two into two into two into two into so on. So how many two would be there? N number of two. So n two number to the power of. So that's the two to the power n. Is it clear to you guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now let's go to special one. That is sigma to the power zero. That is set of all strings of length zero. So what would be that one? Sir, first I think that's one. Eight to Jodi Shara and Yastani. Set of all strings of length zero. What would be that one? Blank set. That is not called blank. That that's is that's called. That's Absolutely. Yes. This is the special string, which is nothing, which is empty string, nothing, blank. But my question is, what is the cardinality of what is the cardinality of this? One, sir. One. One. So everybody understands. So please remember the cardinality of this is one, but cardinality of null set is zero. So there's a big difference between this and this. Did you get it? Yes, sir. Cardinality of null set is zero, but cardinality of sigma to the power zero is one. Because it has one element that is empty, but it is an element. That's why we denote it by epsilon as that it should, should not be any confusion. And cardinality of this set should be one because it has one element. Is it clear to you guys? Sir, yes. Sir, what is the difference between uh, phi and epsilon? Phi is a the set theoretic concept. Okay. Phi is a set theoretic concept. It is something like blank box. Okay. If you consider your box as a set, a blank box is nothing but null set. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, is it clear to you? Yes, sir. So, it is a good question, actually. Good concept and good question. So, blank box. 
This is nothing but phi. Okay? Or you can consider in string theory, this is epsilon. Okay? Got it? But what would be the set of phi? Or set of epsilon? Then, are the same? Only phi or epsilon and set of phi or set of epsilon are the same? Are the same or different? How can you visualize this thing? You can consider this is nothing but a blank box inside another blank box. Did you get it? A blank box inside another blank box. Because this set is a bo this box and this one is this box. Am I right or not? Yes. Now, respective to this box, how many elements are there? Outer box. One. One, because I have an empty box. Respect to inner box, element is zero. But respective to outer box, how many elements I had? One. One. That's why the cardinality of the cardinality of phi is zero. Or cardinality of epsilon is zero, but cardinality of set of phi. This one is one. This one is also one. Did you get the point? Yes, sir. Do you have yes. any question? No, That's sure. the reason. That's the reason. Epsilon is almost like phi, but in string, we call this epsilon. Is it clear to you guys? Is it clear to you guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now let's go go to the next topic. Sir, fighter one holo can you see? Fighter one holo kono mana? Unta? Sir, ajay, ekdom upo. Ji sir, ita ita. It is a set of five. Five number. Set of five. Box within a box. Empty box within an empty box. A box, a empty box within a box. Then what would be the cardinality? Sir, one one. From outer okay. box, there is a box inside. So of course, cardinality would be one. Is it clear to you guys? Uh, yes, sir. It is all about concept, nothing else. So you people understand two differences. One is computer languages or our concept of language is different than the human language. Human language consider only words. That girl already mentioned. Sir, why don't you say what? Because what have meaningful notation. Something which is meaningful to human being, that is considered a word. But we can construct many other things which are not meaningful. Still, out of those strings, we can generate our language. Our language is more general. More general. Okay, guys? Now let's go to the next topic. Operations on uh, say so to zoom out could like is better, her sir. Zoom out or zoom in? Zoom out, sir. Sir, you can see the same thing. Now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, now we are going to take out operations from set theory, try to implement those on languages. Okay? Number one operation is our union. So what is union? We already know what is union. What is union? If my language one is 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, let's define alphabet first. My language one is 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. 
than 100111. My language two is Zero one F seven. Then what is L one union L two? All of the things. All of the elements. All of the elements. So F seven zero one zero one zero one 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 zero zero one one one. And again, if there are duplicates, we will write them only once. The same like set union. But second one is little bit. Different. That is called concatenation. Concat. Represented by this. So, what is string concatenation? Okay, guys. Position is important. Position is important. Yes, you are going to place side by side in case of concatenation, but position is important. So W one concatenated to W two. What do we get? Zero. At first, we have to put W one, which is nothing but zero one one. Then we have to put second one 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 zero. Together, they they are getting a big string. W. Did you get it? Did you get it? Yes, sir. So yes, what sir. would be the answer? Zero, one, one, one. Just splicing, join together. Done. Is it clear to you? Yes, yes, sir. But if we do this thing, W T comma W one, then what would be my answer? One 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 zero. Then I will put zero one one one. It would become one 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 zero zero one one one. Completely different. W dash. W not equal to W dash. Did you get it? Dot the union of the cast for check answer. Dot the union of the cast for check. Union, so I saw I give you example before. Is it said we are dealing with string? Then we'll go to language concatenation. Don't worry. String concatenation is like this. It is more like Cartesian product. It is not like it is more like Cartesian product. It is not uh, union. You are wrong. Now let's assume my language is this. Our L one or L two to this. So L one concatenated L two. What would be the answer? So zero one zero one 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 zero zero one 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 concatenated with zero one epsilon. Zero one epsilon. So this is nothing but cross product. I'm going to take one element from here and then. Join by string concatenation each other. So what would be the new set? Zero one zero zero one zero. This is my first element. Then zero one one. Then zero one epsilon means nothing. So zero one. Then I will take this one. Zero one one zero. Then I will get zero one one one. Then zero one one. Done. Then I will take this one zero zero. Zero, one zero zero, one. Then one zero. Then finally, I get this. This is like this is like Cartesian product. One one zero. Then one one one, one. Then one one one. Done. So this is the concatenation of two languages. Did you get it? Yes, sir. Again, yes. please remember. Yes, if it is L. If it is L, if it is L, if it is L, and L dash is equal to L two, L one. Generally, L dash not equal to L. 
general sometimes the language become very symmetric that time it might happen can you give me an example where if we concatenate l2 with l1 or l1 with l2 then language will be same can you give me an example sir string concatenation and language concatenation ki difference dute ki different jinish language con in language content concatenation each string is concatenated with another string by this operation because language is nothing but set of string is it clear to you yes sir so you are considering each element in the language and you will take another element in different language and then concatenate using this string concatenation Did you get it? Yes, sir. Girl. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. So remember. Sorry, yes, sir. Else not is equal to else, sir. It is to. Poor a second. Try to solve this. You will come up with difference. Sir. Don't make a bad thing. What are you talking about? What bad? If you want to gossip this. don't come to the class okay i did not sleep whole night so if you don't want to study and don't want to participate in the class don't come to the class okay guys get back to the point why l dash not equal to l try to try to do this one try to do this one then you will see this set are not generally equal is it clear to you Yes, sir. So it is homework. It is homework. You are going to try to find out L two the L two concatenates with L one, and then you are going to see these two set are not equal. One two set are not equal. One two set are not equal. So when the elements are different, one at least one element is different, or one set has one additional element. Am I right? Yes, sir. So yes, sir. After yes, sir. doing this, you are going to see they are not equal. Now, can you give me an example where l dash equal to l? Can you give me an example? Symmetric only will happen. Aki set only will happen. Dutte aki set only will happen. Am I right, Naki? जी L1 and L2 are same. L1 equal to L2. That time it is same. That was that time L equal to L dash. Is there any other possibility? When L1 is not equal to L2, but still L and L dash are same. Can you give me an example? Is it possible? No, it is not possible. You cannot. You cannot find out that problem because why? Let's assume how can you prove that one? So let's talk about this. About Bosman, why proof techniques are important? If l equal to l one concatenated with l two, and l dash is equal to l two concatenated with l one, and l one not equal to l two, prove that l not equal to l dash. How can you prove that one? L1 L2 
ये ट्रू की ना नो सर नॉट ट्रू देन गिव मी एन एग्जांपल सर मुझे धोया नहीं सर एल वन एक्टर रियल टू एक्टर तो मल्टीप्लेक्स एक कंटिन्यूट कोई देख लो सर प्रूफ हो गया ना एग्जांपल दें ना मत के जो दे एल वन इक्वल टू एफ सेलम है और एल टू इक्वल टू जैसे हमार अल्फा बेटा चीज़ जीरो कॉमा वन एल टू इक्वल टू जीरो है सो एल वन नॉट इक्वल टू एल टू बट स्टील L1 concurrent to L2 is zero, and L2 concurrent to L1 is also zero. So it is not true. So and not equal to five. I am going to join for it. One more proof. Go and see. Give me a proof on Corbin. L1 not equal to L2. What do I find now? How can you prove? Beckham, as follow my calculation. As L one not equal to L two. What can we say about this? If L one not equal to L two, what can we say about this? they have different elements they have some different elements of course then assume x belongs to l1 and x not belongs to l2 or x not belongs to l1 and x belongs to l2 Different element must be present in whether L one or L two. Am I right? So these two possibilities are there, right? Tell me something. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. So extra element might be present in L one or might be present in L two. At the case, proving only one case is enough to prove because second one would be similar. So. As L two not equal to five, there are some y belongs to L two. Am I right or not? Yes, sir. Am I right or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then x y must be belongs to L one into L two. Because x y is L one element. Are why or to belong to L two element? Am I right or not? Yes, sir. But X Y must not be belongs to L two for my L one. Do you agree with me or not? Can I shake it? Sir, it is a more to the job. Why? Yes. Can Y X belongs to? Yes, you are right. Y X belongs to L two for my L one. Must, but that would not work for us. We have to show that something belongs to here, something does not belongs to here. So, is it clear to you? X one not belongs to L two comma L one. Because L two does not have X, so a co a concatenation of element from L two dot L one cannot start with X. Do you agree with me or not? Yes. Done. Second case is also similar. Did you understand the proof? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. So, so just five will be possible. Five will be possible. Five will be the example. Dilla me. Yeah, yes, sir. Five will be the example. I have already given you that example. Right. I have already given you example. If there is the one set is five, definitely it is possible. But I am giving a constant at the end. Five, not five. Nothing would be five. All right. So we have done with concatenation, and we have also proved something else. Now, let's go to another one.
Now, if what is W set of all strings? How can we find out this set? Capital W is nothing but set of all strings in alphabet. So how can you over alphabet? In the over. Over alphabet. So how can you find all the strings? How can you generate all the strings? How can you generate all the strings? Sir, alphabet go like you have it all like me. Zero and one. Alphabet zero and one. Set of all strings over sigma. How can you find? So, set of all strings of length zero. Then, set of all strings of length. One set of all strings of length two. This way up to what to go continue go. This is nothing but this. What to go continue go. Infinity project. Am I right? A regular project to join go to key day. Concatenation. Concatenation. They cannot join. Set of all strings of what this. So I have length zero strings, length one string, length two string. This is up to length infinity string. So how can I join all these strings to get this set? Union. Union. Did you get it? Yes, sir. Stringal length ki kaka no rational hoita paare. Is this is it possible to have rational length string? Is it possible? No, sir. So let's set the string with a ki ki hoita. It will be integer. So let's string starting from zero. Zero length string, then one length string, and two length string, and three length string, up to infinite length string. Am I right? Then I will get all the strings. It's pretty clear, right? So yes, sir. W equal to sigma to the power zero union, sigma to the power one union, sigma to the power two up to infinity. Am I right? This one is also represented by sigma star, where star can be replaced by zero, one, two, so on. And this this special symbol is called Planck star. Planck star. Did you get it? So does that mean universal set? It is the universal set. Uh, yes, of course, it is the universal set, like set theoretic universal set. You are right, sir. I'm right. A concatenate na kore union kano korte si? Concatenate kore hobe ta ki? Concatenate kore hoy ta ki? What it comes? Another question: What is the answer? What is the question? It is only one x minus same as we sometimes same. Another question: What is the answer? Sir, if you combine it, it will be paired. What is the answer? What is the answer? There is a house. It has this parts. How can you get the full house from this parts? What what operation you need to do? So add all the individual add. parts. And in set theory, what is the analogy of add? Union. Union. That's why we did the union. Is it clear to you guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bolenda. Please say no, sir. But then next class, don't say I did not understand. Yes, sir. Why, yes, sir? Why, yes, sir? 
I tried to make this whole thing. Am I right, madam? Madam, please answer. What happened, madam? Yes, sir. Okay, please answer the question. Then I tried to make this whole house or whole block. This is nothing but my universal set. In this case, this is nothing but W. I have how many parts? One, two, three, four, five, nine. six, seven, eight, nine. So I have to take all this nine, right? In yes. set theory, how can I get the how can I get all the members of two set? The union could live. That's how you are doing the union. Is it clear? G yes, sir. Okay, sir. Done. Now let's go to final one. So let's do the classification first. Final automata can be classified like these two broad categories. Sir, sorry to disturb you, sir. sir. I joined some few minutes ago, so can I can give my can I give my attendance. Are you there? Finite automata can be broadly classified to two broad categories. Finite automata with output, finite automata without output. Okay. Now, finite automata with output can be classified to two broad categories. One is called Miller machine. Another one is called Moore machine. And finite automata without output can be classified to three broad categories. One is called DFA or deterministic finite automata. Another one is called NFA or non-deterministic finite automata. A third one is called epsilon NFA or epsilon move allowable non-deterministic finite automata. Now, how finite automata actually relate with the concept of symbol? Symbol. La alphabet and language. Each finite automata accepts in a language and reject all other. So, did you get it? Did you get it? So each finite automata accepts a language and reject all other languages. Did you understand the relation between finite automata and language? For each language, we create a finite automata. Is it clear to you? Is it so clear? Sir, basically, you? finite automata is individual to everything, right? Finite automata is individual to everything. What is the meaning of this? Um, individual to other languages. Um, in, uh, it is, yes. Uh, yes. Each finite automata's language is different. To different finite automata, to different finite automata should accept to different languages. True. 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 You are right. Any more question? Any more question? No. Sir? No, sir. Okay. So now let's go back. So 
Let's assume my alphabet is 0, 1. And my language is 0, 1, 1 and 1, 1, 0. So how can you make machine understand so that it can under, so that it can accept this language? How can you make machine understand? How can you make a machine which can actually accept this language? Tell me, what is your idea? sir, it's not a big deal. We understand we are going to accept 0, 1, 1 and also accept 1, 1, 0, other things we are going to read. Whenever we are going to see 0, 1, 1, we say, yes, you are my language. You are inside my language. Whenever I get 110, I'll say, yes, you are in my language. Other thing, whenever I will get, I'll say, no, you are not in my language. Yes, you can understand. As a human being, you can see the see the members inside the language. But machine can you see anything. So how can you understand a machine to accept only these two strings? Tell me. The assembly language. Assembly language. Come on. We are not even created any language. We are talking about machine. We are talking about machine, not about any language. We are talking about machine. How can you how can you create a machine which can actually accept this to strings? So we have to put uh, these alphabets in the machine, I think. You put this alphabet so, somewhere. Uh, uh, let me let me solve the problem. Rose okay, I have some bulbs. This is one bulb. This is one bulb. This is another bulb. And I have special bulb. Okay. So what happened? Starting from here, starting from here, when I get zero, I'll go to here. When I get one, I'll go to here. When I get another one, I'll come back here. Okay? Then, also when I get one, I'll go over here. Then, also if I get zero, Zero one one. Okay, fine. Five, one. Let's run. Let's make another thing. Something like this. Okay? So what happened? What happened? Can you tell me? Initially, I start, start with this blue light. Then, after getting zero, I get over here. After getting one, I get here. Only when my red light is going to lead, then I can say, yes, I get my string which is inside the language other any other lives would always denote we did not get our string 
So if I somehow make this kind of circuit, then only we can actually accept this kind of state. Is it clear to you guys? Playing only with light bulbs and wires. Is it clear to you? Then machine can understand that it is accepting 0, 1, 1 and 1, 1, 0. Other string it is rejecting. Is it clear to you or not, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So finite yes, automata, sir. finite automata is all about making this kind of circuits. This kind of circuits we are trying to make, by which we are going to accepting any language. Okay, we'll stop here today. If you have any question, you can ask me a question. Sir, sir, can, can you please uh, give me attendance, sir? Who is that? Sir, it's me, Zunat, sir. Why are you so late? So I, I joined a few a few minutes ago, sir. I joined. I, I, can, I, I, cannot, gi I cannot give you an attendance. All right, so no worries. No worries. Sir. Sir. Any more question? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir, in the language. Hello? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. So if we have 0, 1, 1, 0. 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. 0, 1, 1. Yes. 0. So yes. then how can we, like, uh, reach the end of the circuit that then can we identify that then, that then we have to we have to change the wiring we have to change the wiring and we have to incorporate okay. more lights for this one it might be the answer but if your language is different okay. we have to come up with different wiring different number of lights different circuit that's why i'm talking about each finite matter automatic accepting only one language and rejecting all other languages did you get it Okay, this is so. only for this. This is not universal that it is going to accept anything. Did you get it? Yes, sir. It's a good question. Another, co any more question? No, sir. Thank you. No more question. Is today's class clear to you guys? Yes. <clears throat> yes, sir. So should we stop here today? Okay, sir. Okay, let's stop here. We'll continue from this in the next class. Goodbye. Sir. Goodbye. Sir. Sir. Yes. Yes, please. Sir, can you hear me? I'm Hello? hearing you.